start with this. Uh, when I say Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, what's your reaction? Uh, stud. Uh, you know, they got a great team. And really, we're just excited to play. For you guys, as you look at them on film, obviously there's a lot of things that make them dangerous. But for you, what's priority number one? Um, I mean, really, we're just focused on, you know, everybody honing in on their assignment. Um, obviously, you know, the quarterback is one of the best, if not the best in the game. And they got playmakers all around the ball. So, um, you know, we just have to be locked in and on our assignments and making sure that we're handling everything we can handle. How do you evaluate their run game? Uh, yeah, the, you know, they don't really run the ball necessarily too much. Um, but, you know, when they do, they're effective. Um, you know, Clyde Edwards, he is a good back. And their O-line moves well together. How challenging can it be on the defense when you got a quarterback that'll throw it as many times in one game as Pat Mahomes will? Yeah, it's crazy. I think they pass it like 68 times. And, I mean, rightfully so, because, you know, obviously he has the arm to do it. So, um, yeah, it was definitely a challenge. And um, the extended plays, him scrambling, being able to, um, you know, elongate the play is going to be also a challenge. So, um, really, we just got to just plaster and make sure we're locked in. What sort of player is Travis Kelsey? Elite. You know, he's the best in the game. Um, somebody who's just smart. Obviously, he's a vet. So, uh, you know, he's just an elite player. Uh, I'd say so. I got a, a lot of people coming to the game. You know, all my mom's side of the family is in Kansas City. And so I'm going to see all of them. So that'll be fun. How many years did you live in Kansas City as a baby? Seven. I was born there. Yeah. And then I moved to uh, Dallas when I was seven. Any, did you go to any games as a, as a real little kid, seven years old? No, I actually didn't start liking football until like middle school. Yeah, uh, mindset same as if it was any other game. Obviously, he's an elite player, and so we're going to hone in a little more um, as a defense on him because we know he's going to get his touches. Um, but really, just just study him and study you know the way he moves, just like you would study anybody else. Is there any part of his game that you have to be prepared for? That is physical or sudden, or is there anything about him that stands out that you better have? Um, I'd say you know his feet are really good, and so he knows how to get open. He understands certain angles or. Where he has to be, I mean, he obviously understands the coverage every time he's on the field, so he knows the holes in the defense, and I'm sure he's studying our weaknesses as well. Um, so, you know, stuff that we're not good at, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to expose. So really just um, putting it all together. And they made a big deal on the broadcast the other night about how he and Patrick Mahomes go and work together, and there's this unspoken sort of game that they have. You kind of have to prepare for the unexpected with him, don't you? Definitely. Um, you know, especially even Andy Reid, too. I know they're going to throw in some wrinkles. And I mean, those two are dynamic together. Um, so really, yeah, expect the unexpected. And how would you evaluate your progress from week one of the season to now? Here we are going into week ten. Yeah, um, I understand more so uh, the speed of the game. I feel, um, you know, really comfortable, um, you know, just just playing uh, the NFL game. And so it's a it's a weekly thing. I'm continuing to grow, still continuing to learn more and more things every day. But um, I say from week one to now, you know, I'm a different player. How challenging is a quarterback like Pat Mahomes that you can play all the keys right, and next thing you know, he kind of just pops something out, sidearms it, no look throws. How do, how do you prepare for a guy like that? Yeah, you can't really prepare. You got to just make sure that you're, you know, you're on your guy. Pretty much, like I said, when he starts to extend the play, um, you know, receivers will start to try to run open, and he can put the ball in the money anywhere. So we got to just make sure we're in the right spot.